The launch of the Huawei Mate 60 Pro has sparked discussion about China's ability to manufacture advanced chips despite US sanctions. But I think with the tweets in US and China tech war, it is time to look at other China tech stocks, especially when many tech stocks have fallen by more than 50% from the high since the start of the tech war. If there's one term that I can describe many Chinese tech stocks, then that would be Jianfei, lose weight. I'll explain more later on why this is so. Hello, I'm Bini here. With the launch of the Mate 60 Pro, it has raised concern among US officials about China's technological independence and its impact on future tech restriction by the US. The launch of the Mate 60 Pro has also caused many Chinese chip stocks to rally, especially SMIC, the rumored producer of the 7 nanometer chips at the heart of new Huawei phone. Many industry commentators think that the development is a sign that China has successfully broken US sanctions and achieved technologically independence in advanced chip making, and also raise questions about how it will impact future tech restrictions by the US with Mid-60 Pro. The gap between the peak technological level of China and that of the rest of the world has shrunk, even despite the many hurdles that the US government has attempted to place in Huawei and SIMC way. While this is a topic for deeper discussion, what is more relevant to us, small investors, is whether there is an opportunity or gap that we can tap into. This is because most of the tech stocks like Xiaomi, Alibaba, Tencent or Meituan have fallen from the high by an average of 50-70%. to 70%. Now this means that if the stock was $100 previously at the highest price, then now the stock has shed its weight by 50%, meaning that the stock is now half price. Will Huawei new breakthrough revive the beaten Chinese tech stocks? There was indeed a cheap stock rally after the launch of Huawei's Mate 60 Pro. In my opinion, this lengthy 3-4 to four year period of flat-based consolidation is worth a look at this moment. And I think that it is time to look into the tech and IT industry, specifically if you are not into stock picking, then to look into Hang Seng Tech in general. If you do not wish to stock pick, then Hang Seng Tech is a good way to invest in technology company without having to pick individual stocks. Hang Seng Tech Index represents the 30 largest technology companies listed in the Hong Kong that have high business exposure to technology teams and pass the index screening criteria. The index is a better representation of the stock universe listed in Hong Kong than the Hang Seng Index, which gives a big weighting to financials. More than 90% of the component stocks are in the IT and consumer discretionary industry. Like many other tech stocks from China, Hang Seng Tech fell significantly from the high, it shrunk by or Jianfei by 70%. Currently, the index is mapping out a flat consolidation pattern since March 2022, and that's about 20 months of consolidation. In this flat consolidation, there is a possibility that this is a bullish reversal head and shoulder pattern. On the completion of this bullish pattern, which means that price will have to move above 4,800, it will complete this pattern and hence reverse the current downtrend since starting March 2023. On the shorter time frame, Hang Seng Tech is right now parked at a very strong support level. I think I've mentioned this in my past video, at about 3,750, this grey area here, this is a very strong historical support for Hang Seng Tech. Now at this moment, what happened was that Hang Seng Tech being moving up and it surpassed the recent low here. Uh, this recent low coupled with the recent high is an immediate resistance and that's about 3,900. And right now with the current price at about 4,020, then I can say that it has successfully beaten its own resistance level to potentially to move higher. Of course, the next level in terms of short-term trading will be to note for Hang Seng Tech around this region here and that's about 4,280 and I talk about this level for quite some time also too in my past video and I think that we should have a bit of a trading opportunity here at least a short-term trading opportunity and if you would like to go for some short-term short-term trading opportunity because at the end of the day Hang Seng Tech is still in trap in this uh, like a region here then you might want to consider DLC which is a daily leverage certificate because with DLC you do not need to convert your Sing dollar into Hong Kong dollar so let's zoom in quickly to take a look at how you can trade the Hang Seng tech with DLCs 
Mira Assets is one of the issuer of DLCs in the Singapore Stock Exchange. Not only that you can trade Hang Seng Tech, you can trade the Hang Seng Index, you can trade the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq as well. Right now, I'm at the web page. Simple steps. Number one, you have to select the underlying, which is Hang Seng Tech, and you select that whether you are bullish or bearish. For example, if you are bullish in general, then you can select the daily long and it will appear all the contracts of the DLCs that show a daily long. Now, if you look at the price of each of the DLCs, they are not expensive. For example, at this current contract here, that is TTTW, that's on Hang Seng Tech, the current bid price is about $1.90. Now, this is the unique characteristic of DLCs. A lot of the DLCs are less than $2. That means that you don't need to spend a lot of money to gain exposure to Hang Seng Tech via the DLCs. Now, of course, that when you trade in the DLCs, it's also so high risk. Do take note that you might be able to lose money. Of course, if you've gotten the right direction, then you can also make money as well. My students like to joke that Hang Seng Index is in the ICU intensive care unit. This is because price keeps dropping. Do you think that Huawei showing its tech revolution and that US sanctions might not be effective anymore? Will Chinese tech stock really stage a rebound? Share with me in the comment section. You may also want to watch another video which I made on Japan Nikkei 225 Index where price broke a new high. Till then, and hit that subscribe button to know what I'm looking at for the next video.